Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys are surely coming to you all for sure. And if this is your first, second or third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for your girl. Uh, so when I drop content, you guys be notified and you come into different world and you come and learn what's going on. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which educates, inspires, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? Okay, you guys, so today is going to be a little bit of a mixture, um, social awareness mixed with a little spiritual awareness. Uh, <laughs> Sunday's best. Uh, we're going to close out April, um, it being... Um, April stress is the stress awareness month, along with it being autism awareness and Parkinson's disease. It's a lot of awareness in the, in the month, and so um, each week I try to bring you guys uh, a topic. And Tuesday I got a little backed up, and so I want to end out April making sure that I touch bases on one of the main uh, uh, mental anguishes that's that's brought on, is, which is stress. And so just touching on that and. Um, uh, sharing my thoughts and uh, recommendation for it as well as sharing with you guys three informative videos I found excuse me an informative video I found uh, online talking about mental stress and uh, how it manifests into physical stress and so um, yeah getting right into it you guys everybody deals with stress whether it be from your personal life your professional life or just dealing with life in general you know waking up in the morning can be stressful on your body if you slept hard the night before you know sometimes you wake up with a crook in your neck you know that's stressful in itself I and mean, I had one last week and so um and I also learned it over time how mental and emotional stress can manifest into physical stress and I never noticed that at times when my body would be so tense and just so stiff to where you know I feel like I had to take a muscle relaxer I never knew and understood why and come to find out that was all the stress and tension that I had been holding in and, and let build up and not letting out or expressing it and so I've learned over time how to deal with the mental and emotional stress and not let it you know manifest into physical stress at times I'm not all you know perfect it does you know manifest into physical stress and also where I found to where my physical stress manifests into is in my shoulder area and uh, my neck a lot of times it can be your back your head your eyes sometimes even your legs or your knees but for me it manifests right here or right in my shoulder area it's so tense and I can't move at times or when I'm sleeping and so um, ways that I've come up with to, to combat you know uh, physical stress is by exercising you know uh, I can't afford to get uh, those massages every week and so you know I bought a little percussion massager and that helps and so um, for those out there, when you guys are going through any type of mental stress and it manifests into physical stress, you got to remember it's on you to take it back your power and your control and decide what to navigate your ship because you're the captain of it, right? And so uh, when we get into these uh, you know, stressful times, you know, dealing with work or, you know, personal issues in life, you know, we have to remember, you know, not to let it take over us as well as, you know, just taking care of ourselves in general, you know, get, making sure we get good sleep, a good amount of sleep at night, eating right, you know, drinking water, working out, you know, ways of that, that nature, as well as with reading, reading helps too. And so, um, those are just my, my recommendations, you know, like I said, when it comes to motivation, it, it takes more than one person you hear me from to get the hit point of the picture. And so, check out this dope video I found from uh, Cha Nguyen. Uh, talking about, you know, April being Stress Awareness Month and, you know, ways that you can combat physical stress and mental stress as well. So, here it is. Check it out. And once we get done, I'll let you guys know what a little bit more about what's going on in Difference World and talk about some other things on the agenda. Yeah? Here it is. 
me to talk about it here on The Factor. Psychotherapist, Dr. Nick Hardy, licensed therapist, Dr. Christine Belliard, and of course, therapist, trauma therapist, Chow Wen. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. So when should you take that break or re First of all, how do you identify if you're going through stress? Stress is so obvious to all of us. We know when there is a consideration of a mental health distraction that's outside of ourselves, right? Any to, anything that affects your mental health well-being, your physical well-being. I think as a trauma therapist, I look at our bodily reactions to stress, how we are tightening up, our stress on our shoulders, uh, how we are feeling in our bodies. So that's really and, important. And once you identify it, guys, what should you do? How should you address it? And anyone can jump in here. I do want to say that oftentimes people end up finding how stressed they are because of a dis-ease. So, oh my gosh, I have high blood pressure or I got a diagnosis for diabetes. Sometimes we think, okay, I'm just going to get this pill. I'm going to handle it that way. No, that may be a signal that there's something going on and you need to get to the root of what is causing the stress because it can show up, as you mentioned, physiologically. Mm -hmm. yeah, I also think some of the basics that we overlook getting adequate rest, diet, exercise, even just being outside uh, can also curb some of the stress that we experience. And so when you're dealing with stress, especially when you're working as a professional or at any job, how do you approach management like, okay, I need a damn break? <laughs> well, you were just talking about <laughs> yeah, it, Isaiah. I, I had to do it last week and I, I took off a few days because of stress. I know we talk about acute stress and then we talk about chronic stress. If there's mm -hmm. stress that's accumulating over and over then it can lead to bad health and outcomes as mm -hmm. they mentioned. Things that that people think well I'm sick because I have a disease but really pay attention to that chronic stress. If mm -hmm. things are happening over and over, you're tired, you're sleepless, you're, uh, you know, you're feeling uh, anxious, depressed, all the symptoms of stress are very important to watch out for. And Dr. Belliard, you shouldn't just end it at taking off some days. There's some work to do. You know what? I think it's also important for us to acknowledge there is a culture of stress. Mm -hmm. People almost want to judge, like, oh, I'm winning. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm so stressed. I have 10 things to do today. Tomorrow, <laughs> I have 20. Right? And so even, like you mentioned with jobs, uh -huh. we really have to almost buck against the system. But I'm not going to give in to that. People that know me know I am not going to lose sleep over a job. Because mm -hmm. one thing I found out, when you can't come to work because of a medical condition or you're in the hospital, that job will go on. There's only one of you. So remember, you're worthy of taking that break, taking that vacation, and really decide, what is it that I want to do? How do I, how do I what my life to look, my day to look, and start there. Prioritize yourself. Then comes the job, the kids, all the other things. Mm -hmm. And Nick, what would you recommend to someone who's taking that break and in order to make yourself better when you return, what would you tell them to do other than just taking some days mm -hmm. off? Yeah, absolutely. I think just being proactive as well, too. I mean, again, it's not just taking days off. It's also investing in some self-care practices as well, whether that could be, you know, going out to eat, you know, just treating yourself. It could be doing things that you may postpone, going on that vacation, just whatever it is that allows you to rejuvenate and recharge. I think you should be intentional about investing in that in the front on the front end so that you aren't stressed and you're not reactive to stress that comes up in your life. And in Child, you know stress can lead to some dangerous situations at home. What would you advise someone if they're going through stress and they feel like they're at their breaking point? Get some help, find some support, somebody to talk to. I think it's really important to address stress by getting that connection with others, family, friends, therapists. We're all therapists here. Uh, you know, there's a crisis hotline. It's as easy as calling 988 if you're finding yourself in a stressful situation and you just need to talk to someone. All right. We want to thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor. On Since you know, I, I got some therapy from y'all without even paying. <laughs> it was free. Oh, always. We're it was, always here All for this you. was for me. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Censor Child and, and, and Nick and uh, Dr. Belliard. Of course, that's it for The Factor. Make sure you follow us on social media.
All right, you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that informative video from uh, Chow Nguyen. I, I dropped her link below in my description. Uh, be sure to check out her videos and talking about topics such as uh, stress awareness. And so as you guys seen in the video, she gave good advice and good tips. And it wasn't only just her talking, it was other people in the panel. And so I thought that was dope. There was just more than one opinion being shared and how they dealt with, you know, physical stress or emotional or mental stress. And so again, you guys, you all have to just remember out there, whatever stress and stipulations and tribulations that you are going through, it's only a temporary thing. It's, it doesn't last long, but while you're in that storm, you have to find ways to combat, you know, that situation and, and counter attack whatever is attacking you and not let it overtake you. And so just remember, you know, some of my recommendations would be to drink water, you know, get a good, nice rest, eat right, exercise, you know, pray and meditate. That's also, you know, a good uh, a tool to use when it comes to combating stress and just also being aware of your surroundings that provide, you know, stressful situations, you know, you can stay away from that or people who provide stressful, uh, bring stress to you, stay away from them, yeah? And so if you guys like the topic that I'm bringing and talking about today, be sure by showing me, by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming. As well as you guys, don't forget, you guys can check out my website, differenceworld.net, and you can look at all my other social media handles, including my face, excuse me, I'm not on Facebook anymore, um, my Twitter, Instagram as well as my TikTok. And so again, hit up differenceworld.net and check out my social media handles, including you guys, those out there that are looking for motivation speakers or uh, would like me to be a part of any type of grassroots conversations or even the podcast interviews. You guys can book your girl at my website. I'm free of charge as of now, you guys. So get it in while you can and go to my website and book your girl. Also, you guys, don't forget on my website, available is my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. And you guys, don't forget to get your copy of that. Again, it's a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, please be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen, you guys. That's the point of it all is to have these conversations that need to be had, you know, that are often swept under the rug and people like to turn a blind eye to. That's the point of this book is to push that envelope and to get that conversation started so that we can come up with ways that we can create systemic change for the next generation. And so again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, you guys. All right, so moving right along and moving right down the line, you guys. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, and so I'll be dropping another uh, motivation blog. I don't know which one I want to drop just yet. So again, that's why you guys have to be on the lookout and you have to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. So when I drop the content, you guys come into different well and you come and learn what's going on. Yeah. Uh, what else we got you guys moving right along with the different train um, let's see let's go ahead and do our mental health check you know lastly but mostly importantly this is what we talk about here in different world and third eye entertainment uh, for those out there that's going through any type of mental stress you know physical stress emotional stress be it depression bullying anxiety uh, feeling suicidal whatever the case may be I want you guys to know and understand and believe that whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talking with somebody, uh, picking up a hobby, uh, getting on medication, whatever the case you may need to do in order to keep your mental health in check and not go off the deep end and possibly take anybody with you, you do it. Uh, for those out there that may need these mental health resources or they may know somebody who may need it, please feel free to share it with me. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those out there that would prefer, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can guys 
visit 988lifeline.org. And those that are outside of the U.S. that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can check out mcounseling.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, you guys, remember, although I am providing you with these mental health resources, you have to remember that you are, it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because what may work for some may not work for others. And so at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters, nobody else. I also want you guys to remember before we finish out with the mental health check that, again, whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through at this time in your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going through, going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So please don't do it. All right. And so to close out, you guys are moving on to the close out. I hope you guys enjoy watching my vlog today on April uh, being Stress Awareness Month and just to remember not to let stress overtake you, but you to counter it and, and, and take back your power and your controls with it. And if you guys like the topic that I'm talking about today, be sure by showing me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop. And with that being said, you guys, remember, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come in line. Peace. What if? What if, in 1619, Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.